Hello and welcome to episode 296 of Geeking Out. I'm Jim Pilker, and this week we are going to be reviewing the Chapter House Comics comic, Die Kitty Die, number one. So, let's get to it, shall we? This is Die Kitty Die, number one, written by Fernando Ruiz with Dan Parent, with art by Dan Parent, Jay Bone, and Rich Kozlowski. Kitty Ravencroft is a beautiful and magical young witch, as well as the star of her very own long-running comic book. But when her greedy publicity star publisher wants to increase sales to the comic by killing Kitty, not just on the four-color page, but in real life as well, will Kitty be able to escape her? Four color fate? Alright, so that was what happens in Die Kitty Die number one. Now let's get into the good and the bad, shall we? Alright, so there are lots of industry in jokes in this, including a jab at Archie Comics president. Now, if you didn't know about that little story, I'll uh, maybe put a link in the description below, because it is absolutely hilarious. Uh, it's almost hilarious uh, how it includes how focused studios are on movie and TV deals, uh, social media, and etc. Because that's pretty much what comic studios are nowadays. If they don't have that kind of promotion, they die. And that's unfortunate, but it's so true. Uh, this art style here is by uh, Dan Parent and uh, Jay Bone art is great here. It's classic Archie style uh, with a mature bent. It, and uh, as you know, it's by Dan Parent, who is a Archie artist, so it works. Uh, it's a fun story. Uh, far from perfect, but uh, good for fans of Archie strips that want a little something different. Uh, now on to the bad. Uh, most of the characters are not likable here. Uh, the story feels way too short, even for a first issue. And again, I'm going to be probably on a little bender about this, but ads should be at the back of the book. Not on page two. Honestly, throughout a 32 page book, having nine pages of ads is unacceptable in any industry. I mean, what the hell here, Chapter House? Come on, I mean, you're better than this. It just looks so unprofessional. And other than that, it's an okay book, but for me, when you have ads right from page one, it's unacceptable from a professional standpoint. So, if you want to try something a little different, and you're a long-time Archie fan who's a little older, check this one out. It's actually a lot of fun. For next week, however, we have the Battle of the Cartoon All-Stars as it's Invader Zed versus Star versus the Forces of Evil. Be sure to vote down below, fave, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Be sure to vote for what you'd like to see reviewed next week, Invader Zim number one or Star vs. the Forces of Evil. 